body, yeah, that's my Maserati going ham. No salami, that's your chick. If I like it, then I'm straight. Both garden in a club. What's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to a brand new Rules Also Royal video. Now in today's video guys, I'll be showing you what I got in the Lucky Carnival. It was extremely lucky. Now, towards the end, I should have actually just kind of quit, but I kind of wanted to spend all the diamonds I had on the Lucky Carnival. And the results were not super great, but I just wanted to see what would happen if you maxed out the Carnival. And I had some really, really bad luck. I should have just stopped from what I got because the deal I got was insane. Now. Uh, let's talk about the Lucky Carnival. So the Lucky Carnival was introduced not that long ago. It's still a relatively new thing that's um, within the game because before that we didn't have any Lucky Carnivals. There was no such thing as the Lucky Carnival. And somebody won 38,000 diamonds, I believe that was the jackpot. Now I was opening it up and you no, know, I thought might as well spend you know a ton of diamonds now. There's good and bad. Obviously, what I got was super duper rare. Probably the rarest thing I've seen that I've gotten from really anything in the game. Whether that's a supply box or a Lucky Carnival. Now, the thing is about the Lucky Carnival, it is super expensive to keep pulling, guys. I spent over a thousand diamonds just trying to see what I would get if I, you know, landed on the legendary things. And the results were not good. So, I don't know if maybe it was just my luck, but... I should have stopped where, you know, when I could have got or where I did get the suit and I just, I pretty much should have just stopped. Like, I don't know why I kept going, but you know what? I was just thinking to myself, it doesn't hurt. You know, I have diamonds, might as well see what happens when I max it out. Now, sometimes you win a ton of diamonds. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can win the jackpot. But obviously for me, that was not the case, but I'm still not going to complain. The amount of diamonds I spent to even first actually before I spent all the diamonds, it was actually, a, I mean, it's crazy. But even after that, after I got the suit, you know, dark Wukong suit, I can't believe I actually got it, guys. So um, after that, I spent a ton of diamonds. It was definitely a waste of diamonds. But still, I, you know, I don't care how many diamonds it would have took. Even if I spent the amount of, I spent towards the end, I still would have got the suit. It still would have been worth it. And it's still worth it. Now... Again, each draw is like, I think it gets up to like 250, 300 diamonds just for one draw, which is extremely expensive. That is very, very expensive. And again, I didn't win a jackpot or anything, but I did win something really, really nice. Now, I have heard around the community that a couple of YouTubers, I don't know if everybody, but there was a couple of YouTubers that Rules of Survival gave this type of suit to Dark Wukong towards, I believe Hawksnest has it, I think. I know for a fact Gaming with Gregory has it. I don't know about uh, Ferg or a couple other guys, but um, it's amazing that <clears throat> Rules of Survival would give a suit to, I believe, a couple other channels. I, again, I might be mistaken. You know, maybe they earned it, but there's getting the full Dark Wukong suit is probably the. It's probably more rare than any Butler suit in the game. I'm just gonna say it out there. I think it really is, and I got super lucky out of this pull. I mean, the Lucky Carnival. It's that's why it's called Lucky. Um, I actually I was looking at the Lucky Carnival, and it took me a second to realize, like, because you know there's so many things you can get. Yesterday I was like, you know what? There's actually Dark Wukong, and I told my clan members. Now I was playing Fire Team quite a bit, and I told them, should I actually pull for the Dark Wukong? Dark Wukong, excuse me, because it was a ton of diamonds and. They were like, are you kidding me? You have the Dark Wukong in the Lucky Carnival? Hell yeah. So I was just, you know, pretty much did it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull it. And I did. It was just, it, I don't know how I did it. It was ridiculous. Like, that is super duper lucky. I don't think, I mean, obviously winning the jackpot would be the luckiest thing to happen to you. But I think having this suit is pretty rare. I think it is the rarest. In my own opinion, I've never seen anybody with the full suit besides the YouTubers that Rules of Survival gave the suit to. Now... What's interesting about that is I'm not saying anything, you know, that's fine. They have the suits. The game gave them the suit. That's fine. But Rules of Survival follows me on Twitter, directly on Twitter. And um, I don't expect much. You know, obviously we've talked before, but I don't expect to get, you know, updates early. I wish, like, they follow me now. I'm one of the biggest guys in the community. I'm not the biggest, but I'm growing. And you guys have, you know, you guys support my channel uh, it's crazy like you know we're almost at 95,000 subscribers as of this upload and we're just we're just growing and growing and growing and sooner or later we're gonna hit 100,000 it's just thinking about it it's crazy guys it really is and it's because of this community so 
Uh, I don't know if rules, you know, if rules of survival is ever gonna do anything, you know, you know, special towards me. Like, give me a suit. I don't expect anything at all. Uh, maybe I don't know. I actually don't expect them to do anything. But you never know, guys. They do follow me on Twitter, so and I love the game, so maybe they might do something in the long run. Again, one of the biggest things that besides getting content early, such as you know the you know updates a week early before anybody else does that's what every single gaming company does uh, that i know of you know call of duty clutch clans all those different types of games those youtubers that you know clutch clans follows or you know other gaming companies follow they usually get updates early but the biggest thing i want rules of survival to do is send us the top 10 guys whatever they do or the people they follow on twitter which is pretty much the main youtubers that do this game send us to the headquarters in china i think that would be a crazy crazy fun trip talk about the updates talk about the future of the game talk about some features you know maybe some bugs you know just issues and you know everything and pretty much talk about the community that would be one of the biggest things to actually um i would like to happen inside this game maybe one day we'll see what happens you know otherwise i gotta keep grinding in the meantime but guys the dark wukong like the rarest suits I've seen before was, I believe, sorry guys, I do know one player that does have the full suit, but the amount of money he spent is actually ridiculous. I think his name is Nubbit. He does have the full black Wukong suit, but he has spent the, a lot of money in the game. I mean, just a ton of money. I know he has. Um, I haven't played with him lately, but he is the only player that I've, I believe I know that, well, besides the YouTubers, our actual player that has the full suit, I've never seen anybody since season one with the dark wukong suit like i just have not seen it and getting just the hoodie is extremely rare and i actually have the drifter mask with it and i gotta say the drifter mask goes pretty well with the wukong suit it just does i like it a lot the pants i don't know what kind of pants go really with it i just had i believe the anubis pants with it the i believe the blue ones or something i mean there's i don't have like straight up pants that go with the you know the suit obviously you have to have two other matching parts or three other matching parts with the suit i don't know if i see another dark wukong or something in the lucky carnival i'll definitely try to pull that but i'm just really lucky to get that like honestly it was definitely worth the diamonds again i should have stopped pulling when i actually got the suit i don't know why i kept going i just don't know why um i wanted to i guess i do know why because i wanted to see kind of what would happen if i actually landed on those two legendary you know question marks but turned out it was just nothing fancy at all like i was just disappointed what happened and i spent a ton of diamonds but thinking about it the amount of diamonds i spent would have been at least i mean what was a thousand diamonds to spend i spent i think 180 for a draw and got that and i kept spent another eight or nine hundred just doing draws and draws and I told my clanmates, hey guys, I think I traded the Black Wukong for diamonds and they all like froze. I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but they were like, Mr. Clash, are you serious? Like, did you just really do that? And I'm like, you know, I was kind of silent and they were like shaking their heads um, because can you imagine exchanging the Black Wukong for diamonds? Yeah, I think you can get, I don't know how many diamonds it would have been like maybe two or 300 because I believe exchanged yesterday something for 300 diamonds no joke it was 300 diamonds but it's some oh i believe you it might have been the project s pants i might have exchanged but anyway um i would have not you know if i would have done that i would have been so stupid but i'm just glad i have the suit at least the you know the main part of it i think the jacket is the main part i'm just um i don't know i love the suit i really do so anyway in the comment section below you guys can tell me what is the luckiest thing you've pulled in the lucky carnival maybe you guys have pulled a jackpot maybe you guys have gotten you know maybe a couple hundred diamonds from it maybe you guys have gotten something more rare than the dark wukong you guys can tell me in the comment section below but anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video if you guys did that would you know smash the like button that would really mean a ton and also if you're brand new to the channel make sure you guys click the subscribe button for daily content and as always i'll see you all on my next video